Uh, this actually is my second attempt. Um, the first time uh, I got it charged and I loaded it up uh, and when it folded out into the tripod position it didn't make it all the way so I kind of tried to fiddle with the arm. I heard a snap and that was it. Uh, it was it would move around okay, but then it wouldn't stand up um, straight. So second time, I just took it apart. Only took me about a half an hour. Um, took a nail that was about the right diameter and uh, cut it to the right length. Heated it up over a flame and pushed it through, melted it in there. And it actually looks like it... Uh, held pretty well. Oh, there we go. All right, well, that looks so far so good. Yeah, it's moving. Let's see if it folds back into the secondary with the two legged position. Nope. Um, yeah. But there's still just something a little bit off and I don't know if I can fix it without having a replacement gear. In summary, that repair kind of worked. Uh, the legs do lock into position now, but there is just a little bit of play. Just a couple of degrees of difference. I mean, you can hardly move it at all, but it is enough. I don't know, maybe that pin that I used uh, as a replacement in that one lever wasn't quite big enough. Uh, if it was off, it was only off by a few tenths of a millimeter. There are so many things that Sphero got right about this. It looks great. It sounds great. Uh, it is got. It does have a lot of fun little um, movements and stuff. But at other times, it just feels like it was really rushed. The app is not a great. It half the time it won't connect. Um, I actually have another one of these and. I try to get the, the two of them to interact the way that they're supposed to. I can never get that to work. Um, I try to use the, uh, the function where they watch the movie. That will not connect or anything either. It could be my phone. Maybe there's something, an issue there. Maybe I'll have to try it with a different phone at some point. Um, but even, for example, having that interactive tour of the Millennium Falcon thing is really sort of pointless because it really doesn't do anything with the toy itself and it just seems to take up a lot of memory. The app takes forever to load uh, and unfortunately you know Ciro doesn't make these anymore. Uh, they, I'm, I suspect that what happened is that way too many people complained about um, it breaking or not working right. Uh, there's just way too many little things that can go wrong with this. And, you know, for a toy that's designed actually to fall over, uh, it seems like maybe they should have made it a little bit tougher or less finicky. Um, really needed to be a fail safe for that gearbox in there. And man, it would have been nice if a person could get into that uh, and replace parts a lot more easily. So really at the end of it I guess this is just sort of a high-end remote control toy which is fine but honestly for the money um, I you know the interactive R2-D2 from 2002 is amazing. It has voice recognition, it has infrared sensors, it has you know uh, distance sonar sensors uh, it's a really fun, really cool toy. And, and yeah, that was made 20 years ago.